Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Simon. And I am a rail enthusiast, loves going up and down the country, riding on the trains, filming and taking photos of them as well. These videos of my railway journeys can differ sometimes as they can go to plan or will go bad. Welcome to Simon Trains Railway Journeys. Hello everyone and welcome to Rooster Town Station. Now, unfortunately, I don't know what these um, two people do behind me. I think they do some gauging issues with the platform or the tracks or something like that. But um, yeah, as you can see, also down here, our platform extensions are coming on nicely for the new electric trains, which I have seen the timetable for May already. And honestly, I am loving it. But um, today's adventure is taking us down the North Warwickshire line to Stratford upon Avon. Now, we are doing three stations. We are doing Wilmercote, Stratford Parkway, and Stratford upon Avon. Now, there is a reason why we're doing these three stations because uh, Bahamas is out today. LMS Jubilee cl Class 45596 Bahamas. Now, the question is. Do we get it or do we not get it? Or I should say that in Shakespeare's terms. To get Bahamas or not to get Bahamas? Well, we're going to try and get Bahamas. So we're just waiting for the 1045 train to Burger New Street now. And then Burger New Street, we're going to get the half 12 to Wellcote.
Midlands Railway service to Great Malvern. Calling at Birmingham Snow Hill, Jewel Recorder, The Hawthorns, Snethic Golden Bridge, Rowley Ridges, Great We're at uh, Whitlock End station now, waiting for the 12.48 to Wellcote, which is basically the half past 12 off Birmingham Moor Street, like I said earlier on the show. But uh, I got there a bit earlier, so I thought, well, I'll get a train down to Whitlock End at 12.10 off Birmingham Moor Street, which terminates here, and that's go back to Straff Salvage Junction. Now, we did see Bahamas on our way down at uh, Bordersley and it's running without a support coach so it's going to be 10 to first down to Stratford and Chidley first back to Tisley. Secondly we did find out what the um, platform gauging thing but that was going on at Rooshie Town. Now in the May timetable change I mentioned which is awesome by the way I have seen it but I won't go into too much detail about it yet but uh, we're getting 350s on that line. Now what service goes to London Euston from Rooshi Tread Valley and the other goes to Birmingham International from Rooshi Tread Valley taking over the uh, shuttle between New Street and Birmingham International I'll explain it later on the, in the months to come before the tie table actually runs so, well gets sorted and it is on real time trades now but I'll explain later on close to the time but um, they're checking the height of the platform and the gauging issues around using a train that's what they were doing. Anyway, so like I said, we're waiting for the 1248 to show up to Wellcote.
We're now at um, Earlswood Station. Now, hang on. Welcome to this service for Stratford upon Avon. The next station is the Lakes. Which is a request stop. Uh, the Lakes and Wood End are request stops. The next official station after this one is Henley and Arden. Just um, leave it all for now. But uh, we're going to try and film past the lakes because it's a small platform, so blink and you miss it. And I'll probably film in and out of Henry in Arden. But everything's running so smoothly at the moment. Even though this train's probably a few minutes late. So oh, at the uh, at the lakes, I thought we were going through, but how do you pick another passenger here? This is his request stop. Anyway, we're just about to leave now. Wilco station is four miles north of Stratford upon Avon in Warwickshire. The railway station opened in October 1860, but the first station only had a single platform on the Hatton to Stratford branch line. The station was rebuilt slightly south of the original station with two platforms in 1907, when the Great Western Railway doubled and upgraded this part of the branch line to Mayline standards to create a new Mayline route between Birmingham and Cheltenham Spa. We are at uh, Wellcoat Station. This is our first station out of three we'll be doing today. But um, I do like this station to be honest. I've had been down here a few times before, but this is probably... Oh no, I've done it with the Panniers actually. Yeah, I think I've done this with the Panniers a trip down here, which are videoed a railway journey. But, um, yeah. You used to get a uh, train straight from Burger Ball Street here to at least Honeybourne on the um, Oxford to Worcester line. But uh, we're here till quarter past two. Um, you do get five trains an hour here. There are three stoppers and two fast services because the two fast services go by Dorridge from Burger, from Burger Ball Street by Dorridge and then they turn off before Hatton to come down here to Stratford. But uh, the odd occasional you do get a Chilton unit as well, which we do get one here. So it'll be a class 165 or 66, I think it's 65 maybe, 
stop it here as well, go to Stratford because they only do the Stratford to Leviton Shoal. But um, when we get our next train to Stratford Parkway, behind our train will be Bahamas. It will be 10 minutes behind my train. So as soon as we get off, I've got to get in position quickly for the steamer. But I'm going to stay on the platform it's going to go through on because opposite the platform there is a stopper towards Birmingham that's going to stop there. So there'll be no going over the other side for a shot. It'd be staying on the same platform I'm getting off from. I just uh, left World Coat and um, the steam worker is literally right behind this train. I've got it just uh, about to pass Bailey Junction. So as soon as we get off, we ain't got long before Bahamas actually goes through. But I think it's going to go through as a caution and not a fast, which is good.
Stratford upon Avon Parkway Station opened on the 19th of May 2013 and is on the northern outskirts of Stratford upon Avon and it's next to the A46 road. Each platform is 502 feet long. The station was due to be opened in December 2013 but it was completed seven months ahead of schedule. The station uses the park and ride facilities at Bishopton whose cars park has spaces for 725 vehicles. We're now at uh, Stratford upon Avon Parkway station. Now we got 35 minutes to kill here now but uh, in due that time there's actually only two trains running. There's one there uh, to towards Birmingham by Dorridge and then I waited for my train to Stratford upon Avon from the North Warwickshire line. Now you do get five trains stopping here an hour but it can be six with the Chiltern unit, um, which this device to show up when it wants to. So we're going to wait for the, well, it's due here at 15.21 now, but I think it's supposed to be due here at 15.18. So it's going to get into Stratford upon Avon, and then we're roughly going to have an hour there, hopefully get Bahamas leaving there. I don't know where that support coach came from, to be honest, because when I checked it go through Bordersley, it was running light engine and there's even photos of it small heath um, a guy I know called Andrew Nadport who I met up with at Birmingham I, not on purpose like it's just we we're both there at the same time and he got a photo of it passing through small heath light engine at the support coach so I'm guessing the support coach was at um, Tisley so like I said it did go down 10 to 1st and then we were waiting for it to the chimney first at Stratford upon Avon and we'll be arriving there just after 20 past 3 maybe a bit later now but we'll stay there till 20 past 4 to head back to Birmingham Now we're uh, pulling into Stratford upon Avon. Uh, Bahamas is still there, apparently, according to our uh, Traxi. We are now approaching Stratford upon Avon. I'm hoping they do not send it out now. Please mind the gap when leaving the train and stop onto the platform before removing heavy luggage and push chairs. Got set. And so is just on red good. Good, she's not uh, being moved, so.
holy Jesus. What the f is that? We're now at uh, Stratford Podhaven and unfortunately we had a disastrous footage filming the Bahamas out of this station. Fortunately, that train behind me there was supposed to go on this platform here. Turns out they swapped it to that platform and Bahamas left on this platform one but fortunately it blew so much steam that my camera did not focus it properly. So that is very disappointing but unfortunately that's my fault to blame. Because I thought, oh, I thought that you was going to be on this platform and I want to get the footage on that platform. So to be honest, it's my fault really that it did come out good. Plus the light is um, literally gone. It's still light, but unfortunately the light to take pictures is gone. So with my blunder on that, see this is the thing about my rail journey. Sometimes they go to plan and sometimes they don't. And you just saw that that did not go to plan. So anyway, we're going to be here at Stratford Park Avon till 25 past 4 and then we're going to get a train back to Bergen Wall Street. And then after Bergen Wall Street, it's home time. The first railway to reach Stratford was the Oxford, Worcester and Wolverhampton Railway branch from Honeybourne, which opened a station at Sancta Street on the 12th of July 1859. The next line which arrived was the Stratford Railways branch from Hatton, which came from the north which opened on the 9th of October 1860. Both companies agreed to join the two branches together and the current station opens as a single station at the present site on the 24th of July 1861. In 1908, the Great Western Railway used both branches and created a new main line between Birmingham and Cheltenham Spa. The station was expanded and the third platform was added. Through services to Gloucester were withdrawn in 1968 and the passenger service south of Stratford ceased. The line beyond Stratford remained open for freight until 1976 when a serious derailment of a freight train led to British Rail closed the line entirely. There was another station at Stratford called Stratford Old Town on the Stratford upon Avon and Midland Junction Railway, which opened in 1873 but closed in 1952. The Shakespeare Line Promotion Group is promoting a scheme to reopen the nine miles of the line south of Stratford to Honeybourne, when it will link to the Cotswold Line called the Avon Rail Link, and will make Stratford upon Avon a through station once again.
before I get started on the outro, I'll just uh, show you quickly why we're on this side. Is that you can just see there the platform, sorry, there the platform extensions for Rusi Town. That's it, really. But you've got to figure they've got to chop off this ramp, so it should be fitted up for a 350. But, um, yeah, today did actually go well, apart from one thing. And that was uh, Bahamas departing Stratford upon Avon. Unfortunately, like I said, it is my fault because I did go onto Platform 1. I would have been better off on Platform 2, but there was supposed to be a unit to come in on Platform 2. But it went on Platform 3 instead. So I thought, oh, I'll stay on 1. And unfortunately, it didn't pay off the departure. The video is actually uploaded on YouTube now, because I did that on the way back from Stratford upon Avon. But, um, yeah, if we got three stations done, all good. We got World Coat done, we got Stratford the Pod Avon Parkway done, and we got Stratford the Pod Avon done. Even though I did not get the footage of Bahamas leaving properly, but hey, you know, it happens. This is what my rail journey is all about. I'm going into the unknown because I don't know what's going to happen at all. And this is the report of my day happening, really, basically. Well, not a report, but more of a blog of what's happened throughout the day. So, we did get some units, mainly 172s, and we got uh, 165011 for Chilton Railways, which shuttles between Leamington Spa and Stratford upon Avon. They did used to have a London Marley Boat to Stratford upon Avon, but they had to cut it back to Stratford to Leamington Spa. So, uh, that's it now, I think, yeah. So, I'm going to actually tell you the next video because we do actually have a next video planned. Ready for next Monday. So I'm going to try and use Tuesday to get it uploaded on to YouTube for next Sunday. That's the point. All my videos from now on, my shows, will be Sunday uploaded. Unless, if I go somewhere like Scotland in March, I'm doing like more than one show, then it'd be a Sunday and a Wednesday. But um, you know the social media channels now, Simon Trades, Rail Journeys on Facebook, Simon Trades, Twitter, Instagram. Thank you for watching and I will see you for London, which will be on the 21st of January. We are now approaching Shirley. And don't call me Shirley. Please mind the gap between the platform and the train. Thank you for traveling with us today.